Hey, what's up guys? We're back today with another video. I got Mr. Caleb with me, heading out to a service call. Got a no heating call. The guy says his heat pump is not working right. So we're gonna head out and take a look. Y'all stay tuned. Well, we'll, I'm curious about stuff. And oh I yeah. Know. We'll let you know when we have a yeah. diagnosis. And then, um, um, I'll bring my dogs in, but you can either go through the white fence or come in where you came in and go out that door. And the unit's right here behind on the ground behind this room. Okay. And there's a short one and a little bit taller one, and it's the one closest to the fence. Okay. But it, it to me, it sounded like there was a stick stuck in there. It was going clack, 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 clack like that. Very and so possible. I walked over there and pulled the stick out, but then I was like, that wasn't bothering the fan. It was just laying on there. Gotcha. So it still does it. Okay. Always we'll let you know, okay, yes, what sir. we find. All right, guys, so I got the fan turned to on, and I hear it up in the attic going cling, 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 oh, cling, okay. cling, cling. So we're going to head up in the attic first and see what's going on. All right, guys, so we got a carrier heat pump. And so basically, I just give you all a little rundown of what's going on here. Client said the outdoor unit every 30 to 35 seconds she timed it would make a would start running, make a loud hissing, squealing noise, and uh, then it would shut off. And she said the air was not moving through the vents, so I turned the fan on at the thermostat. I heard the motor going cling, 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 turn off, cling, 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 turn off. So we're up here. And I think y'all might know what it's going to be. So do I. So let's pop this open and take a look and see what we got here. This is a 12 year old carrier heat pump. Looks to me like it's a. Three times. Is it? Two, two ton, two. Okay, two T. Oh. Got some mold in here. A little bit of a mold issue. All right, so now it's not running at all. We'll uh, pull out the meter and start checking some voltage. All right, get this guy set up right here. It's a real tight angle, guys. All right, we're gonna go from uh, common to green. I have a call, 28 volts. All right, Caleb, you wanna go down to the thermostat, turn the fan setting back to auto, and then back to on. I want to see if I can get it to come back on and so I can get that videoed. As y'all can see, you got some serious mold issue. I got Caleb turning the thermostat back. Y'all see that? Seen this failure many times. <clears throat> One thing I can do just to just to make sure make sure we have the right voltage, high voltage to the system. Yeah, you're good. And uh, already confirmed my low voltage as you saw a second ago. But um, at the moment, it's looking like an obvious bad ECM blower motor. 
All right, guys, got my leads on here. We got good power supply to this motor. It, I was able to actually get it to come on this time, but it is definitely seizing up, so. All right, guys, so I got it confirmed. Bad ECM blower motor. Sitting over here to check the outdoor unit out. Just kind of look at what we're going, got going on here. It's gotten cold here the last few days, but luckily they have uh, another system. Their main system is the bigger one. It's the upstairs that it's going out. But here it is, and uh, I'm just getting a little information off of it. Just kind of looking at it, guys. So we're giving them three options. Number one, replace the motor. No longer under warranty. The warranty expired about two years ago, two or three years ago. So gave them three options. Replace the motor, replace the air handler, or a full new system. I done gave them their options. So we'll wait and see what they, uh, what they want to do. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. That one's pretty simple pretty quick um, whatever the client decides to do with that one motor air handler or full change out I'll try to come back and uh, get some footage for y'all try to make a part two but anyway that's gonna about do it for this one see y'all on the next call